This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2019. The most common elbow fracture seen in children in the supracondylar region of the humerus, which is thin, weak, and vulnerable to such injuries. The majority of these result from a fall onto an outstretched hand. Most of what is known about these fractures comes from data collected from older children and teens. A team of researchers performed a study in order to learn more about the characteristics and treatment of supracondylar humeral fractures in children. They retrospectively reviewed the records of 103 children between the ages of 9 and 23 months and reviewed the type of fracture, mechanism of injury, rate of malunion, and other factors. They found that the average age at the time of fracture was 18 months and 63% of the children had a type 3 displaced fracture. 73% of the fractures were the result of a fall from household heights. They also found that the ratio of females to males was 2 to 1, which differed from the data collected from older children where fractures were more common in males. On examining the in-cast x-rays, the team found that many casts were poor-fitting and malunions were significantly associated with a poor-fitting cast. When lateral, column-only fixation was used, the malunion rate was an alarming 36%, but when bicolumnar fixation was used, the malunion rate dropped to 11%. The team also found that 5% of cases were suggestive of non-accidental trauma, consistent with child abuse. Treating supracondylar humeral fractures in infantile patients is challenging. Casts must be form-fitting, and surgeons should be aware of the high rate of malunion associated with lateral column-only fixation.